nice four-point night for Gray McKee, who now joins us on the All Access Post Game Show. Okay, the two goals, were they from the exact same spot? It seemed like maybe a couple of inches, and is that kind of like your spot that you know you're, I, I'm, I'm hitting this? Yeah, that's my spot. I mean, that's my man up spot, and I, both goals were from relatively the same spot and went into the same spot in the goal. But, well, hang on, I actually put it out. One was the far <laughs> corner, the other was the near corner. He's so proud of himself for realizing yeah, that. Don't, right? don't let him we're get away with it. the exact same spot. I was actually really impressed because I assumed it was the both spot, but they were actually the opposite corners and perfectly placed, to your credit. <laughs> Well, thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great. You know, we we're just talking about you know, some of the, the frustration tonight um, when Salisbury's defense is showing what they're showing, and it seemed like sometimes maybe you guys were not taking the right shot, and maybe some of the frustration was showing. How difficult is that on a night like tonight, and how much do you learn from going up against a defense like this as you move forward? I mean, they were a tough defense. They were all over us. I mean, me personally, I took two shots that were blocked from the defender in front of me, so I just got to play smarter, and then on top of it, we got to take the proper shots. We got to let the ball work and move around in order to get the best quality shot. Third period obviously didn't go your way, but the fourth period, you guys really, I thought, built some momentum. Glenn and I were talking about, you know, moving it into, into the next weekend. What was the message in the huddle going into the fourth? Well, into the fourth, we were just trying to keep our head high. You know, there's still time left trying to stage a comeback, and that was our goal. I mean, we were just trying to keep our heads high and try to put in as many as we can, just one goal at a time. Great. Coach was just talking about the fact that you guys know. Um, and, you know, I was really impressed with what he said, that, that you guys aren't, you know, dwelling too much on it. You know the schedule that you're up against, and you know who you're facing. How how important is it for you guys to not let a night like tonight get you down and to say, hey, look, we, we knew what we were signing up for. We knew the schedule we were going to play here, and we're going to have more opportunities to go beat really good teams in the coming weeks. I mean, we play a very tough schedule. I mean, the first four teams we played were all top ten. So we just kind of take it week by week, and, you know, it's only, we're only one and three right now, four games into the season. Uh, the season's a long season, so we just got to, you know, have just forget about it and move on. Uh, and that's obviously what you guys can look to do next weekend as you head towards the Mustang Classic. We're gonna be we're gonna have to rename that spot. We're gonna have to paint it something like that <laughs> to know it's it's Gray's spot. Well, I clearly will paint it Gray. That's how we'll handle that. Uh, Gray, I know, Genius, Glenn. Yeah, I know, Genius. I know it was a tough night for you guys in general, but uh, congratulations on a four point effort and hopefully some big things to come in the coming weeks. Thank you so much.